A lot of business owners are really proud about their great customer service or some other thing they know to be unique or especially good in their industry. But a lot of the times their potential customers just don't care. They don't seem to understand it. They don't seem to put any value on it. And it's not necessarily that it's a bad idea or that people couldn't value it. The problem is often that they don't really believe it or they don't believe it's unusual. So if you say that, well, your customer service is amazing. My assumption is probably going to be, why wouldn't I get equally good customer service from your competitors? Just because you say it's somehow great doesn't change anything. Even if you're in an industry like internet service providers or banks or something who are notoriously bad at customer service, you claiming that your customer service is good doesn't make me assume it's good. It just makes me think you're just as full of sh as all the other ones in the industry. So instead of just saying that your customer service is great or something else that's hard to believe, go around it. And there's three ways I wanted to share. One is to use testimonials. So instead of you saying something, your customers say it. It's much easier for me to believe that your customer service is amazing if your customers say that it is amazing. Another option is to show it, either with images or videos or maybe there's a demonstration option. But anyway, let me see the thing. With customer service, it's a bit harder to do. There's a way so you can do it, but it's harder. But let's say you sell some sort of a tool, like a, I don't know, metal working tool or something, and you say that it's really durable. I'm just going to assume it's equally durable with all the other options. I don't really have any reason to doubt that or think that yours would be better than the others. But show me a video where you drop an anvil on your product and all the competitors' products and see how all the other ones crumble and yours is just fine with it. You don't have to say your product is durable. I'm just going to conclude that that is the case. And the third option is to completely avoid saying something directly and just demonstrate it. It's very close to the previous one, but it can show up in very different ways. So let's say that you're a coach and one of the things that you do especially well is simplify things down to something very easy to follow, like your instructions are super easy to follow. And instead of saying that your instructions are easy to follow, give people easy to follow instructions. You don't have to make a claim that it's fairly hard to believe, you can just make help them experience it. Whenever you do any sort of messaging, any sort of marketing, keep in mind that what you know is true, what is very obviously unique to you, doesn't necessarily look that way at all for your target customers. And then go around the issue somehow. Or just don't talk about those things. If you can't make it easy to believe, then it shouldn't really be something you make a big deal out of. Now, if you have any questions or examples you want to share or ask about, leave a comment. I'm pretty good at answering all the questions that show up there. And if you like this video, please click the like button. It really helps me out. So thank you. And if you want to see the next video, subscribe and I'll see you there.